So today what we're doing is the 80 and overall players are all in free agency. I'm talking Trout, Bellinger, Yelich, Kershaw, you name it, they're in free agency. Every single team has a player in the starting lineup that is 79 and below. Morale boosts probably will boost them into the 80s, but for the starting rating, everyone's 79 and below. So it's kind of interesting to see where these top players are going to end up going. There is one major flaw in franchise for the show. Top players don't get signed during the year. So a lot of players like Trout, Arenado, and them won't get signed, and they might not even get signed throughout this entire video. We're probably going to go two or three seasons just to see how this all sorts itself out. But I just wanted to point out that flaw franchise really needs to get patched there's so many issues with it and this is one of them you're telling me a team is not going to sign a mike trout throughout the year if he's just sitting in free agency i think that's a little dumb anyways with that being said i know i'm not the one to kind of come up with this idea people in madden 2k fifa have done similar videos where they throw all players in free agency and see what happens i'm just saying it's kind of interesting to see how this would play out in the mlb and also point out that flaw that franchise does have with that being said if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content hit that bell notification icon so you're notified whenever a video does go live and also leave a comment for future videos and other content you would like to see in the description are all my social media links i think that's it guys Let's get into this video. All right, so we're going to leave everything normal. Uh, like I said, we're probably going to do two, three seasons, but budgets, trades are on, all that good stuff. Not forced trades. We're not doing anything crazy like that, but we're going to leave the CPU to every single detail, trading, signing, all that good stuff. And then what we're going to do is first, I'm going to show you the roster for every single team. Like I've mentioned, morale boosts may push some players into the 80s, but every single team has 79 or below so i'll show you guys the ones that are like in the 80s but every single player isn't in the 80s that's basically what you guys have to know no player is 80 or higher so it's it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out who's going to sign who wh who's going to sign where things like that if someone does get signed do they get traded things like that but basically here you go with the teams every single team has 79 or below morale boosts are definitely pushing players into the 80 overall category so those are the teams just to show you how things were played out let's take a look at free agency now so mike trout nolan arenado yelich kershaw we'll just take a look by position i guess that would make a little bit more sense but you guys can kind of see where all these top players are sitting and it'll be interesting to see how this plays out i'm telling you a lot of these players will still be sitting in free agency by the time the first season is over what we'll do is we'll sim up to about the trade deadline and i'll show you guys how free agency is looking just so you guys can get an idea of which players were signed which players weren't we'll also go to the completed transactions just to see which players were actually signed during free agency like while free agents were available to be signed so with that being said here we go what happens if every player 80 and above was in free agency let's get started with this first season all right so we're at the trade deadline of the first season and let's just take a look to see the completed transactions and who has actually signed some free agents so matt barnes leclerc bueller bauer wilson Contreras, doolittle snell osuna i'm not seeing mike trout i'm not seeing christian yelich i'm not seeing nolan arenado mookie betts jose altuve and that's a huge flaw you're telling me no one wants ronald acuna jr a team like the Cubs here, who does it, who their top fielder, their top like their top hitter is a 71 overall. You're telling me they're not gonna splash some cash on a Mike Trout, Yelich, Arenado, Mookie Betts, or anything like that. There's other teams that are a lot worse, but I'm just pointing out the fact that how is this an issue? How are you telling me that through one year no team has signed Mike Trout? I find that to and it's not even like I don't, I don't get it. That's an issue. So that's one issue I just wanted to point out. Let's just continue to sim through the first year and see how this plays out. So I've decided to sim through the month of August as well as we approach the postseason. And three more players have been signed. Acuna is one of them. So is Severino and Sir Anthony Dominguez. But still players like Trout and them are still in free agency. Alrighty, the Padres defeated the Rangers. What we'll do is we'll just kind of go through the season. Because I'm more interested to see where some of these top players end up going um ichiro and albert pujols retired so what i'm going to do is 
we'll just take it month by month and go through free agency to see where these top players go. Um, I'll be kind of interested to see where they end up, you know, landing. So we got Chris Sale to the Yankees, Nola to the Giants, okay. Doolittle to the Rays, Chapman to the Mets. And before we end up being here for the next 25 minutes, I'll just show you guys as we go by the month. All right, so we're about to head into the regular season of like season two. And we're gonna take a look to see where a lot of these top players ended up signing. We're gonna go roster by roster so we can kind of check where everybody's at. But first I wanna see who's still a free agent. Justin Verlando, Josh Donaldson, Joey Votto, Cabrera, Turner. Um, you guys can see there's even some young ones, Carlos Martinez, Trevor Williams. And there's actually some players that I would still want on my team now. Um, Vado could be helpful. Jose Abreu could be helpful. Carlos Santana. Um, Zobrist. Who else? Scooter Jeanette. Josh Donaldson. Turner. Carpenter. Moustakis. Shaw. There's definitely some really helpful players here. You got Simmons not playing for a team. Are you kidding me? Andrew. Semyon. Come on. The Cubs have one shortstop in their team and they couldn't you know, dish out the money to get another one. A couple good left fielders, center fielders, and right fielders still available. I just, I don't really understand the the free agency system that the AI has in this show. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of take a look at like the starting pitchers really fast. I guess we could just take a look at pitching rotation. So this is what the Cubs are working with. You can kind of see it's not that amazing. A lot of players have obviously regressed for sitting an entire year in free agency, but um, a lot of teams didn't really splash the cash, which I'm finding really interesting. Um, a lot of them probably ended up signing players they already had in their team, which means they didn't have a lot of money to spend on other players. But that's still just, I just feel like it's really flawed. I feel like there's something that's wrong with free agency and MLB The Show and CPUs or the AI are just signing random players. I've seen teams have four first basemen that are 80 and above. I've seen teams have like 10 pitchers that are like 85 and above. It's just really flawed and I feel like there's a better way to do it. So here's the teams. I'm showing you guys what we're kind of working with and then we'll take a quick look at the lineups just to kind of see where some players have ended up. But a lot of big names are still available in free agency. Luis Castillo went to the Braves. Um, but yeah, Kershaw went to the Nationals. Okay, the Nationals actually got a pretty stacked lineup right there, um, starting rotation at least. And um, it's pretty interesting to see. The big thing that I'm most interested in about are these lineups. The Cubs lineups are still pretty, pretty bad. Um, VR, George Springer to the Reds. Okay, um, any big names here? Baez, Wilson Ramos to the Brewers. Eugenio Suarez, Buster Posey to the Pirates. We got Matt Olson on the Cardinals. Um, Salvador Perez on the bench. Okay, interesting. Lindor to the D-backs. JD Martinez, Mookie Betts. So they, ma they made some splashes in free agency. So did the Rockies. Rendon, Bellinger, Acuna. Holy cow, what a team. Uh, Vlad is at the Dodgers with Miguel Andujar, Jordan Alvarez, Trey Mancini, Jonathan Scope. Some big names there. Um, the Padres look like they've got a big squad starting to assemble. The Giants, not too bad. They got Judge, Soto, Senzel. Okay. Uh, Orioles, Paul Goldschmidt, Wilson Contreras. Not bad. The Red Sox are kind of bad. Um, the Yankees, they're okay. Got some aging players, though. Tampa Bay's got Pete Alonso, Derek Dietrich. Okay. Uh, Blue Jays are kind of lackluster. White Sox have Ben Attendee, Eloy. Cattell Marte's on the Indians, along with Yasmani Grandal. All right, so there's Kevin Biggio on the Tigers. Okay, um, Tommy Pham, interesting, interesting. Giancarlo Stan and Chris Bryant on the Twins. We got Yelich, Harper, Guriel all on the Angels. Okay, Victor Robles and Mike Trout is on the Athletics, so he actually signed with someone. Bregman is with the Mariners, interesting. I'm pretty sure they signed somebody else too, and I don't remember who it was. Bo Bichette sitting in triple a that's what it was i remember seeing that they signed bo bichette and that's disappointing that he's sitting in triple a right now de Jong, moncada Marte um at the rangers the astros have a pretty solid team josh bell and trevor story was there uh the braves here got a decent squad the marlins do gary sanchez eddie rosario arenado turner and whit merrifield 
they might be the World Series favorites there. But this is the teams. I've spent a little bit too long on them. But that's where kind of a lot of players signed. But when you still see some of these players that are available in free agency, it's interesting to see that some of them are still there. And I wonder if any teams will pick them up. So let's simulate through this season, see what happens. And uh, we'll probably do one more season after this just to kind of see how everything plays out. And we'll take a look at the World Series winners roster just to kind of peek at it and see what see how good they were all right season two let's take a deep dive into the free agency kind of see who's still available and who was signed so let's take a look at see who was signed first um because i'm in september i'm not allowed to see so that's disappointing i would say uh but what we can do is just kind of see who's still available because there's definitely going to be top players still available. Like Carlos Martinez was what, in 84 when the season started? There was definitely a team who could have used him. Um, the Cubs could have used him. Like Dallas Keuchel, Trevor Williams, ba Brandon Woodruff, Giolito. We got John Gray, Martin Perez, Hugh Darvish is there. There's plenty of top pitchers here who could have been signed. Relief pitchers... I, I can kind of see why some of these weren't signed. A lot of them are aging or a lot of them are, you know, kind of at the point where you could probably get better. But still, there were some helpful players still available. First base, Joey Votto, Cabrera, Jose Abreu, Carlos Santana. Yeah, they're aging players, but they still have a really good bat. And you're telling me the Cubs, who their best first baseman in their organization is 68 overall. CPU couldn't go out and get a first baseman. Second base, we got Zobris. Yeah, I see he's going down. Scooter Jeanette would have been good. Who else do we got here? Um, those are probably your two options. Donaldson could have been signed. Turner could have been signed. Carpenter, Ezreal Cabrera, Travis Shaw, Mike Moustakis. Plenty of good options at third base. Just sitting there wasting away. Simmons. There is no team in baseball who should be passing up on Andrelton Simmons. Unless you got a top shortstop like Trevor Story, Baez, Lindor, there's no reason why you shouldn't be picking up Simmons. Cubs, get Simmons. What CPU could do that. Semyon, Andrews, Iglesias, Segura, Didi Gregorius, Swanson, Arcia. There are plenty of good shortstops there. Should be signed. Domingo Santana, Jack Peterson. Um, what else we got here? Lorenzo Cain, Aaron Hicks. Good center fielders, right fielders. Josh Reddick, Blackman, Kepler, all good options to have on your team, but just sitting, wasting away in free agency. So unfortunately, that's how that's going to be. Let's see how this second offseason goes. Actually, let's take a look, see who wins the World Series this year, and then we'll head into the offseason, kind of see how season three goes, and that'll probably be our last year. So the Dodgers defeat the Indians. Nothing new there, but we're going to take a look at awards. We'll take a look at awards for the last like couple years because i'm actually interested to see how that plays out we'll take a look at like postseason so chirinos was the world series mvp last year nemo was this year's mvp postseason or world series yeah world series postseason was Corey dickerson and miguel andujar so there's that let's take a look at i said the dodgers one so let's take a look at the dodgers really quick let's see how they kind of lined up since I'm assuming their team's stacked. Snell, Bueller, Severino, Andrew Mill. Yeah, I mean, they've got a pretty stacked team. So there are teams that are going out and getting these top players, and it's a lot easier for them to win because they have a stacked team compared to this top player is 81 overall. I'm not controlling anything. Everything is handled by the CPU. There should be the AI hopping in and helping us out there, especially when we're getting smacked by teams who have top pitching top relief pitching, top closer, first base, second base, third. Every player is almost over 80, and we're sitting here with luckily if we got a 60 rocket in the starting lineup, which is a little disappointing to see. So the other team they defeated were the Indians. Let's go take a look at their lineup. I mean, let's let's take a look and see what they got because it's looking like their team stacked too. Starting pitching, not as good, but still better than what the Cubs have or other teams have. Catchers, Grandal is good, first base. They went with Morales and Duda iffy, but you got Altuve, Nunez. Mm, I mean, their team's not amazing. I'm surprised they actually made it. But you got teams like the Tigers who kind of look stacked too. So some teams are spending money, some teams aren't. And it's it's kind of interesting to see how this plays out. So what I'll do is 
um we'll just kind of see who who's available in free agency if any big names pop up i'll just show you those um so i'll just simulate like i normally do and i'll show you the big names that come up no real big signings <laughs> that uh were available so a lot of players have dropped in overall so let's take a look see free agency signings really quick um i think i could simulate january actually and i should still be able to see all the free agency signings that happen so let's take a look and see what happened so trevor williams and giolito did get signed a couple seasons too late but you know what it's a it's a step in the right direction but when you're looking at some of these names like scooter Jeanette probably should have already been signed jose iglesias should have already been signed um what else we got hector Neris, eric thames this is all so let's keep going max Fr freed I think it's Max Freed. We got Woodruff. Travis Shaw finally got signed. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of big names being signed. Uh, Kepler. Yeah, a lot of them are still. Si oh, Carlos Martinez finally got signed. But a lot of them are probably still sitting in free agency. Like if we go check, there's probably still some big names that are available. I saw Will Myers there. Jack Peterson finally did get signed, actually. So actually, some of them are finally getting picked up. But you still have Scherzer available. Come on. Joey Votto, Josh Donaldson, Justin Turner, Simmons is still there. He's 31. Like, come on. It's, it's got to be something that's changed. But we'll just keep simming forward. Check out how season three plays out. And then we'll take a kind of a good look at all the teams come end of season three. That way we can kind of get an idea of where everybody settled, who won the World Series. We'll take a look at awards and all that good stuff so let's just simulate this year and i'll see you guys at the final season see how that all played out all right so the white Sox defeated the giants in the 2021 world series so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the rosters for every single team just to kind of take a look and see how things played out what we'll do is we'll take a look at every starting lineup there probably are some players actually yeah we'll do a starting lineups for every single team you guys can see the Cubs here, and we'll just keep moving forward to kind of take a look. The Reds got a pretty decent team. Bogarts, Bell, Springer, Hap, Hanniger. Um, what else we got? Torres, Villanueva, Ramos to the Brewers. But you guys can kind of see the different teams here, and I'll just kind of keep talking about some issues that I've noticed through franchise just from free agency alone. Diamondbacks actually got a nice squad. Um, really good squad. Um, but you guys can kind of tell some teams go out and spend the money some teams don't other teams just kind of sit there and do nothing like the cubs did in this one even though i let ai control every single facet of this franchise also it just seems like why are players sitting in free agency so much i just don't understand that at all like i feel like top players should not be in free agency for that long so that's kind of an issue that i see there so like I see, like I said, that's kind of an issue that I see. And like there are top teams. I mean, look at this team. This team's pretty solid. The Mariners, Rangers aren't terrible. Astros are kind of bad. That Braves have a solid team. Marlins are pretty stacked. Uh, Nationals kind of bad, pretty bad. Um, but even the Phillies are kind of bad. But you can see some teams are going out and spending the cash, and others aren't. We'll take a quick look at pitching rotations as well. Obviously, the teams with the better pitching rotations and also the better lineups are gonna do a lot better. But it just seems like some teams are going out and doing that and some teams are going out and just doing absolutely nothing like look at this dodgers lineup stacked the cubs i think the top pitching player was what 73 overall or something like that which is why would why would a team that has such a large budget not go out and spend that money um the white Sox are stacked what else we got here so other teams are stacked as well and i just feel like top players shouldn't be sitting in free agency like scherzer was there all year verlander and a couple other players as well so why weren't those players picked up when they are available for like a one or two year deal so if you guys could see or you needed to pause at any time you definitely can just to check out some of these lineups but let me know who your team has like if you're a marlins fan let me know who were some of the players you were intrigued by for the uh by, by your team's pickup. So let's take a look at the awards. MVP, Luis Robert, and then postseason MVP was Eric Thames. We'll take a look at other stuff. MVP, Olsen, JD Martinez, and Fultonavich. We have Harper, Josh Bell, and Nikki Delmonico. Cy Young went to Derek Holland, Chris Sale, and Garrett Cole. And then we had Kershaw, Severino, and Fultonavich. Batting title is there as well for both leagues. Reliever of the year. You guys can see those as well. Rookie of the year for both leagues. Okay, interesting to see some of those. And then gold gloves and stuff I'm not too interested by. So that's 
that's kind of how the MLB sorts itself out after a couple seasons if every player 80 and above are free agents and some of those players are still free agents unfortunately I don't really understand it there were some really good young prospects that just sat there and no team picked them up so it's a little disappointing to see hopefully MLB the show can fix that in future franchise and uh, we'll see how it goes but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did hit the thumbs up button down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the content if you have any other ideas for videos or experiments that you want to see let me know in the comment section down below and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'll catch you all in the next one peace